that is less violently. When there's one woman per man, if there's many women per man, there aren't many women for every man. There are a handful of men, let's say a minority of men, a Pareto distribution of men who have a disproportionate number of women and a lot of men who have none. And those aren't happy men, let's put it that way. They're men who are very likely to get up to no good very rapidly. So there's that. Then let's say a man has many women and let's say he's a desirable man for that matter, just for the sake of argument. If he has a variety of women, then those women don't have much of him. So they don't get to establish a real individual relationship with him because it's going to be fragmentary. And I don't believe that that's satisfying for people. I think that what you want as much as you possibly can is to have people around you with whom you can weave your life together over the short term, medium term and long term. It adds depth to your life in a way that almost nothing else can. And so what you do, so I've been speaking more about permanent polyamorous relationships. You might ask, well, what about sequential ones where, which is in some ways indiscriminable from just casual sleeping around. I think the problem with that is that to sleep around casually is to imply that sex is casual. To imply that sex is casual is to assume implicitly that it can be divorced from the rest of life, emotional life, motivational life, values, all of that. And you can divorce it, but you pay a big price for that. I think the price you pay is like the virtual. The word psychopathic keeps leaping to mind. You have to reduce a person to the casual pleasure of a transient sexual interaction in order to sleep around casually. And I think that once you establish that as a habit with sex, which is a deep experience, if you'll do that with sex, which is a deep experience and you learn how, then what makes you think that won't transfer to everything else that you do? I don't see how it can fail to. So I think that as a medium to long-term strategy, they're completely untenable because human beings, as far as I'm concerned, are fundamentally pair bonding. If you're just talking about casual sex, first of all, I think casual sex is a contradiction in terms. I don't think there's anything about sex that's casual. And I think that people are deceiving themselves badly whenever they think so. They might like to live in 70s playboy adolescent fantasy, but I don't, I've never seen that work under any circumstances whatsoever. And I think people get hurt badly. It's also a bad medium to long-term strategy because pair bonding is the most stable arrangement we know of, at least so far. Well, I won't even put it that way. It's the only stable mode of being that we know for the long run. And that's especially the case when you bring children into the equation. I think it's delusional fundamentally. And I think that people who believe that such things work, I mean, sometimes they're open people and they're creative and they're exploratory and all of that and fair enough, but often they're just unconscientious and they don't want to take any responsibility and they want to live in this wish fulfillment fantasy where everybody can have all the sex they want all the time. And it's always wonderful and no one gets hurt. And it's like, sorry, that just doesn't work in the real world. You know, you could say, well, monogamy isn't a very good solution. It's like, well, life is a sexually transmitted disease with a 100% fatality rate too. You know, there's lots of really complex problems for which we only have the best answer we can come up with, which is not a utopian answer. But I would say, and I think the evidence supports this as well, that stable monogamy is the best solution that we know of. And it's also the minimum necessary requirement for the stability of children. So polyamory, it's wrong. It's wrong. It makes men violent. It increases inequality in the manner that makes things dangerous. It makes it impossible for women to have a deep relationship with men. It facilitates the transformation of sex into something casual. And then that spills out into the rest of the world. It deprives the people who engage in it of the opportunity of establishing a stable, long-term, mutually satisfying, it's more than that, 
mutually beneficial relationship, you know, because a good marriage, the people in it gain twice as good, right? The benefits aren't precisely linear. So you lose that, destabilizes the situation for children. There you go, man. That's a lot of things that aren't good. That's for sure.